Hello, this is Michael Kraut with Idea Dudes, and we're here going to be talking about Windows Server 2003 Administration Part 1. So this is the course introduction. So Windows 2003 Server is a registered trademark of Microsoft Corporation. So looking at the course description, there's going to be two parts of this. This is part one of a two-part series. In this uh, part, we're going to be looking at administration using the Microsoft Management Console. We'll also be looking at remote administration tactics and terminal services. We're going to be working with user accounts, automating administration, using command line utility, managing profiles, group accounts, and files. Also, we're going to look at creating and modifying these using automated programs. So in the course objectives, this is what you're going to learn. You're going to learn how to administer Windows Server 2003 Server, both locally and remotely. We're going to manage user computer and group accounts. We're going to automate the creation modification of user computer and group accounts. Troubleshoot computer accounts. Manage files and folders. And implement an Internet Information Services, IS, which is a web server. So sit back, relax. Let's look at our course pre prerequisites. We got basic TCP IP knowledge. You should be able to navigate navigation of Windows, at least Windows XP. But before you take this course, you should have already taken the server installation and configuration. So in the modules that we're going to be looking at, we're going to talk about administering Windows Server 2003. We're going to manage servers for remote desktop for administration, which RDP, that's remote desktop protocol, which allows us to be able to manage our servers remotely. So if we're in a different country uh, on vacation in Trinidad, for example, we can go ahead, connect to our servers, and we can do all the administration without even being in front of that machine. Using remote assistance, when you need that help, there's a helping hand. Terminal server, we'll be seeing how terminal server, without terminal server, we wouldn't have remote desktop or remote assistance. So we're gonna pull all this together. Creating and managing user objects. Without having that username and password, then you wouldn't have access to those resources that you like using all the time, like a printer or getting access to a database application. Creating multiple users. Have you ever sat and created a thousand users by hand? Wouldn't you like to know how to create multiple users? We'll be looking at CSVDE. We'll be looking at LDIF. We'll also be looking at scripting so that we can create these multiple users. We'll also be looking at managing user profiles. You know how you like to change that color at desktop? You'd walk over to another machine and it's not the same desktop as what you had previously? Well, we'll teach you how to use a roaming profile, which allows you to be able to connect or log on to any machine and have the same desktop as what you had previously. We're going to look at securing and troubleshooting authentication, password policies, auditing, and so forth. Understanding group types and scopes. You know about that big old Christmas list that you always put together and you want it to go out to everybody? Well, that's called a distribution list. But did you notice that distribution list can also be a security group? Well, we're going to talk about the different group types and scopes. Also, we're going to look at managing group and automating group accounts using DS add, DS mod, DS query. Also, looking at using CSVDE, LDIF. We'll also look at joining a computer to a domain. I know it's not rocket science, but still, it pays your check. Managing computer accounts. We'll look at all the different properties, attributes that we change, make changes to, and that good old ADUC, Active Directory Users and Computers. We'll look at troubleshooting computer accounts. What is a computer account? Setting up shared folders. 
How do you give access to somebody across the network? You share the folder. We'll be looking at DFS. We'll be looking at file sharing and a lot of other nifty things. Configuring file system permissions such as NTFS. Did you know that there is no security when you share a folder? And administering IS, the Internet Information Services, which is a web server. That's the last thing we'll be looking at in this module, but it's one of the most important things because most of our infrastructure is now on the web. So if you know how to administer and work with IS, you've made your own paycheck. So there's going to be lab exercises that can be downloaded from the pay-per-click link. So all you do is click on that link, and you can download the exercises, and we're on our way. If you have any questions or comments, there's the go-go box at the bottom of this video. Let's get started.